So after we go backpacking, my four buddies and I, we go to a pizza joint to get some pizza. And we share two pizzas. The five of us share two pizzas. One of them is a 14-inch pepperoni. So 14-inch diameter means I have a 7-inch radius. And the other is an 18-inch large vegetarian. So here's an 18-inch vegetarian. That means it has a 9-inch diameter. And the first, uh, and, and we divide it into five pieces. So let's kind of see what this looks like. I'll, I'll try and do five. One, two, three, one, two, three, five pieces. And we can do that again over here, I think. Even though they're not exact, I'm just trying to get an idea of what I'm doing here. That looks pretty good. So I got two pieces, two pizzas divided into five pieces each. Each of us gets a slice. So the first question is, what is the length in inches of the outside crust of one slice of the medium pepperoni pizza? So I'm only dealing here with the seven inch radius pizza, I'm not dealing here with the nine inch radius radius pizza. I only want to know what is the length in inches of this crust of one slice right there. So I'm going to give two different ways to approach this problem. One is as a ratio and the other is to use our formula sector length equals theta in radians times the radius. So let's look at the, 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 the ratio method first. Well, the, the crust, the entire crust of all the pizza represents the circumference of the circle. So the, the formula for the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So all the way around means I have a complete crust of, let's put it into the calculator, 2 pi times 7, so 43.98 inches. 43.98 inches. And that's just inches, it's not square inches, it's just a length. That's the same thing as 14 pi, but since we're dealing with something here where I I said to use decimal points, I'm going to use a 43.98. So if my entire way around is 43.98, but I only want, well, this piece of it right here, which is one fifth, how about if I just divide 43.98 and divide it by five? Divide it by five. So I get uh, 8.80. That's one way of doing it. Now let's try our formula. Well, if all the way around a circle, we know we start here at 0 and we end at 2 pi, if I'm dividing this circle up into 5 pieces, one, two, three, four, 5 pieces, then I know that each piece is one fifth of the total, so each piece should be 2 pi over 5. So let's see if that works for our formula. Sector equals 2 pi over 5 times our radius, which is 7 inches. Well, I think it's going to work. I'm going to go um, 2 pi divided by 5 times 7. And I get the exact same answer. I get 8.80. So either using the formula or a more common sense ratio approach, um, either one will get you the, the correct answer. Now the second part of this problem says I trade my slice of pepperoni pizza, because I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat pepperoni, for Alan's slice of vegetarian pizza. So I'm giving him a, a, a medium pepperoni slice, he's giving me a large vegetarian slice. So the first question says, after the trade, am I getting the same amount, less, or more pizza than Alan? Now, in this case here, we're talking about area. We're not talking about just the crust. We're talking about the whole area of a slice of a pizza. Well, 
I mean, again, yeah, just kind of common sensing it here a little bit. The vegetarian pizza is larger than the pepperoni pizza. So I am getting more. It's a good deal for me. But by how much? How much more am I getting? Well, now I have to do some work here. So the first, again, yeah, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take two approach. One is is a ratio approach. The other is a formula, which is the area of a sector is equal to one half r squared theta. Well, let's take the ratio approach first. First, let's look at my seven inch pizza. What is the area of the seven inch pizza? Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of this entire pizza right here is equal to pi times seven squared. And correspondingly for the large pizza, it would be equal to, let's just let's say pi times seven squared, not 14. Pi of the, of the larger one should be equal to pi times 9 squared. That's the area of the whole vegetarian pizza. So let's do a little bit of calculation here. 7 squared is 49, so 49 second carat pi. That, this pizza right here is 153.9 four square inches, and the other one is uh, 81 pi, 81 pi, and this one is 254.47 square inches. So one slice of the pepperoni is this going to be divided by 5, and one slice of the vegetarian is going to be that divided by 5. So let's do some division here. Let's divide by 5 for the uh, vegetarian, the large one. And I get this slice over here is equal to 50.89. And the other slice is that divided by 5. 3.79. Well, let's subtract. I wonder by how much more am I getting? So I'm going to go uh, 50.89. And the difference between those two is 20.10 square inches. Now, I know you might see, say, Mr. Jenkins, why is there a negative sign over here? And it's because um, lots of times I'm kind of, I think to myself in absolute value. So I just subtracted the 50.89 from the 30.78, and I came out with 20.10. I knew that it was positive. All I was really interested in was getting the number. So that is the answer using the ratio method. Our formula for the area of a segment, the area of a segment is 1 half pi theta sorry I got distracted let's erase that start all over again the area of a segment is equal to one half r squared theta theta is going to include our pi so what is the theta of each what is the angle of a segment of pi and it doesn't matter whether it's the 7 inch pi or the 9 inch pi. It's still a circle, and I've divided it into five pieces. Well, if all the way around the circle has an angle of 2 pi, that would be our theta for all the way around the circle. Well, just this one piece of it is going to be 2 pi divided by 5. So then the area of my 7-inch pizza here, one slice, is 1 half 7 squared times theta, which is 2 pi over 5. Over here, the area is going to be 1 half 
9 squared with 2 pi over 5. Same theta, the same angle, it's still 1 fifth of the, uh, of, the, of the pi. So let's do the math. I mean, you can kind of see we're going to end up in the same place because what's going to happen here is I'm going to have equals to 1 half 49 times 2 pi over 5, 1 half times 81 times 2 pi over 5. I'll do it on the calculator just so you can see, but I'm going to go, uh, well, parentheses 1 divided by 2, put it for 0.5, times 49, times parentheses 2 pi divided by 5, close parentheses 30.78, 30 30.79, that's what we had before. 30.79. And this way over here, I'm going to go 0.5, that's 1 half, times 81, times 2 pi divided by 5, 50.89. So you can see that the answer is going to be the same. And really we could have seen it just by looking at how we were setting up the problem because the 2 here is going to cancel out that 2. I still have the 7 squared, which is 49, and it's 49 times pi, so, and it's divided by 5, which is what we did when we did the ratio. So either one of these ways will work for the pizza problem.